Okay, so I've got my fondant rolled out, and um, so on the cake, on the inspiration cake, it's got little stars and hearts. Um, I cannot find my little heart cutter, little heart cookie cutter. Um, so I'm gonna have to make hearts. And so the way I'm gonna do that is I've got these stars too. Uh, the way I'm gonna do that with the hearts is I've got this um, circle and that's gonna be my base for the heart. And I had a knife and now I don't know where it's at. So, get a Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to cut my circle out. And this um, cookie cutter is got a little, um, it's messed up a little bit, and so it's deformed, which is okay, because it actually helps it a little bit. I made my bow last night, so um, I'm gonna take my, I got a little thin, take my circles, and I can get them all out of the fondant. Okay, so I'm gonna take my circles and I'm just gonna, oh, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Kind of just take off some of the sides like that. So it kind of gives it the heart, heart shape. I guess I've got a little bit. I'm gonna try to get them as even as I can. So it kind of looks more like an ice cream cone. And then, take out the little center parts. I could just go get another cookie cutter and I probably should do that because then it would really look better. But um, so that's how you make a heart out of um, a circle. So this <clears throat> um, this bow has got um, let me do it like this. This bow has got hearts on it. So I'm gonna make hearts for the bow and then hearts for the uh, top of the cake as well or for the the cake. Um, thing. Just for the sides of the cake. Okay, so I'm just gonna sit here and make hearts out of these, and then um, I'm gonna attach them to my bow over here using um, using just plain old water. So. Um, I'm gonna just keep doing this and I'll come back in a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna attach these. <clears throat> so I just got a little bit of water and I'm just gonna um, lightly paint brush the back sides of the heart and then they, they become really sticky. So um, then I'm just gonna lay it where I want it to go on the bow. And this bow's been drying, was, I dried it overnight. So, um, so it's, it's not super hard, but it's it's hard enough that um, it's holding its shape. So I'm just gonna kind of place those just around, <clears throat> and then I'll see where I need to put another um, heart or two. And I'm kind of, um, don't want to put too much because it'll get too, it'll just slide. But I'm kind of putting it in the fold because 
you know, when you have fabric, you have hearts that are in folds. And so, kind of make it look as realistic as you possibly can. Glued on. So, I've got about six hearts glued on, and I think, see, so there's my bow. I think I'm just going to leave it at that and um, go from there, and then I'll put the stars on the cake itself. I've got to make a giant six. That's why I don't like doing stacked cakes. Okay, so hold on, baby girl. Oh, I can't do that right now. That, she can't be up here. Um, I know. Here. Okay, so the six is pink. Um, and I don't have a giant six, so we're just gonna kind of cut it out and and wing it, because that's kind of like what I like to do. So I got my pink from leftover from last night from the bow. And so we're just gonna roll this out. And I'm not gonna roll it out super thin, but I'm not gonna do it real thick either. I should put some, yep. Put some cornstarch down. I'll keep it from sticking. Then you can just dust that off. So, um, I, oh, I need to figure out how big I need to do this. So I'm gonna go get my cake and see about how big this six needs to be. I'm thinking, thinking it doesn't need to be any bigger. And well, I'm trying not to cut too hard down on my board, on my counter. I don't think it needs to be any bigger than that. So if, if you think about it, a six has got a round hole in the center. And it kind of goes around, it comes up like that. Right, and that how six goes, something like that. I think this is going to be too big. Sticky. Okay. So, and yeah, this would definitely be prettier with um, the right tools, but we can make this work for sure. feel like I should have gotten my husband to draw out a six. He's a... an artist and he, he does that kind of stuff for me all the time. So, that looks like a six. Then it should it be a little bit longer? I'm trying to 
think what a six looks like. I mean, I know it's like that. There you go. That's a good looking six. Okay, so I'll just kind of massage the edges a little bit so they don't have the pokey things from the knife sticking out. Paper towel and dust that off a little bit. So that is my six. Looks like a six, right? Ooh, it's not so fat right there. along the lines of that. Okay, so checking on my cake. And it's too big. So, all right. But now we know what a six looks like. We can kind of go from there. All right. So... Let's see if I can figure out how to get this to go uh, any smaller. That just took off from the side. Guys, y'all have to, this is, this is my thought process behind doing things like this it's like trial and error almost i guess i could just not go i feel like i need to write a six because i feel like i'm not like knowing how a six goes in my head i can't figure it out for some whatever reason that that's a normal six okay so let's see if we can figure this out I'll flatten this out a little bit more sometimes it's easier to flatten it out with your hand then okay so if I go down curve it around I'm trying to think of how I did sixes whenever you know you're in cheerleading and had to do the bubble. I was never, ever good at the bubble letters. Obviously. Okay, so. Let's see if I can do it this way. And this side. Okay. Uh, oh, I wish I had a. Oh, I didn't have an edible piece. Oh, the edible can't. Well, no, but I've got this, and this will help me out. Okay, so if I write a six, I'm writing a six like so. That's not a flat. I thought I had a flat one. Okay. Oh, that I'm sorry guys, this is probably like super boring trying to make try to figure out how to do a six. 
That's kind of boring for me, to be honest. Okay. So, I'm just going to do this. The good thing about fondant is it's kind of like Play-Doh, so it's kind of forgiving. You can manipulate it a little bit easier. Okay, so that is the basic shape of a six. Now I just gotta cut out the circle on the inside. So hard, y'all. Okay. So, I uh, this is what I'm going to do. This is going to be my six. I really should have had my husband like draw it out, print it on a piece of paper. That's normally what I would do, but he is not here. And so that is gonna be my six. Now, to go see if it fits on the cake. I think it's smaller than that one by a hair. That looks horrible. Okay. Let's see if I can figure this out. I can do this. I know I can do this. And that looks like a pretty darn good six, but on the cake, it just looks a mess. Okay. So this is where I had like tried to place it. And it's like there was too many sprinkles right here. I wonder if I take the sprinkles off. Mess it up. I'm gonna mess it up in even more. Okay, so that's what's a six? That six looks horrible. All right. Okay, so that's what it's gonna be. Because I can't do anything else. So now I'm just going to place my stars, the big stars around. Oops. And I'm just kind of pushing them into the buttercream so they lay kind of flat on there. that there's hearts on here little bitty hearts and yellow stars smaller yellow stars 
that are supposed to go on here. And then this big old bow goes on top. So I'm just kind of, that makes sense. Okay, and then this bow will sit like right there. And I've got dowels that I'll push in there. So that is the cake for the most part. And then I've just got to put some, um, some other uh, stuff on it. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product.